Hi, for this video, I'm going to be reading off of a script. I'm sure most of you have seen what's going on with Poke Rogue, and if you haven't, let me give you a brief overview. Sam, the lead developer of Poke Rogue, stepped down as the developer of the game, citing that the game didn't align with the trajectory of his life. Following that, private messages between him and another developer of the game was posted, where it was revealed that Sam has some pretty strong opinions about trans people. There's a lot more that happened after this discovery, and we'll cover that in this video. But I think it's important to say first and foremost, I don't agree with Sam's beliefs. I was deeply disappointed when I found out. I'm very much pro-LGBT, and I don't think there's room in this community for anyone that isn't. I had no idea about his feelings regarding the LGBT community before this point, and after talking to a few of the people that have been working on Poke Rogue, neither did they. They even went as far as to say they wouldn't have worked on Poke Rogue had they known. Let's recap the events of the last day or so. After messages between Sam and the other dev were posted, within an hour, the Poke Rogue Discord server was overrun by rampant transphobia, blended in with the excessive spamming of bigotry, racism, and pro-trans posts. While the pro-trans posts are fine on their own, these posts flooded the feed, making it impossible to moderate, especially the moderator handling the situation alone. For context, the Discord server has over 100,000 members, and at the time, there were only 5 moderators. When the Discord began getting flooded with these messages, the only one online was lost in thought. The continued spamming of trans rights, racism, politically targeted content, and transphobia slipping through made it almost impossible to keep track of anything going on. In lost haste to address the situation, he said to stop with the trans topics, and that people weren't comfortable talking about the topic. The conversations being had weren't limited to transness, but rather the flood of racist and bigoted comments also occurring alongside them. The additional messages about the situation regarding Sam only compounded with these issues. Lost in Thought recognizes his messages were poorly worded and he feels bad for anyone that he made uncomfortable. Lost in Thought also shared with me his personal stance on the LGBT community. He fully supports them, is a part of them himself, and his wife, who he's been with for over 8 years, is transgender. After 4 hours of trying to moderate the server alone, other moderators came online to help out. Over the next 2 hours they managed to get things to calm down, then out of nowhere a community manager was appointed haphazardly. Not long after being appointed as community manager, they made, to put it lightly, a poorly worded announcement that wasn't overseen by any of the other Poke Rogue staff and wasn't speaking on their behalf. Then, there was another community manager that said to disregard that announcement and that they'd be clearing out the server of all the bigots, going on to ban three people from the moderation team. Not long after this, both community managers were stripped of their power and banned mods were returned to their positions. The announcements were deleted to try and prevent further harassment of the individuals involved, which the staff of Poke Rogue do not endorse, and those caught doing so will be banned. The staff then spent three hours putting together an announcement they all approved of. However, because this announcement was posted by Lost in Thought, who people mistakenly believed to be a bigot, meant many disregarded the post in its entirety. Despite it being drafted by members of all the different teams involved in the making of the game, including trans community members themselves. Pokey Rogue is and has been worked on by many of those within the queer community. Momo, who I've personally been talking to, is one of those people. Momo actually made a really good statement regarding everything that's been going on, and I encourage everyone to read it. But, after talking to Momo, they shared that they and many other members of the Poke Rogue staff had no idea about Sam's beliefs before those messages came out. They believe that the opinion of someone who's already stepped down shouldn't sully the future reputation of the game, and I can't help but agree. In my opinion, the game is bigger than Sam at this point. In time, much of the growth of the game can be attributed to the contribution of the community. Passives, egg moves, and variant shinies could not have existed without extensive contributions by many people. That leads me to the next issue. The Discord server was incredibly poorly managed with no clear direction of what the rules were. This allowed certain language to be used by contributors and even a moderator. Going forward, there will be more strict rules in place regarding what sort of language as well as an auto mod to help lighten the load on the moderation team. The current Poke Rogue team have been able to weed out most of the bad seeds of the moderation and contribution team and will continue to try and make it a safe place for every single person. As for my personal relationship with Sam, our relationship always revolved purely around Poke Rogue, and obviously, with his beliefs about trans people in light and him stepping down from the project, I would never associate with him now. 